And he said, you've accomplished, I know we have as together as a group, we've accomplished a tremendous amount of things. And we're not ready, we're not ready to stop that conversation yet. We're really trying to grow through the processes. So, so let's talk about where we're at today. In 2002, when we bought the dealership, the very first thing that, John, that uh, Don Walton asked me is he says, okay, now what? We had put together a $20 million operation. It was, I had been turned down by 15 different banks. We went through the whole process of trying to put this together. We did it for you, believe it or not, that's who we did it for. For those of us who have been for any length of time, you understand that that's a sincere statement. And at the end of the day, um, we, 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 Don Walton asked, he says, now what? I said, hey, let's go after a billion dollars in sales. And this was about a week and a half, two weeks after we put this deal together with Cable Dimer of Chevy. Fast forward to today, this year we'll, we'll hit about seven point, uh, $751 million in sales. We'll have over, uh, thank you, that's, that's, that's awesome, yes. Uh, we will hit about, uh, right at about um, $9 million in parts inventory. We're one of the bar biggest parts operations in the United States. Let's give, give a hand to our parts department. You're phenomenal. We've hit over 7,000 units in used cars. Our used car department needs to be honored for what they do. Let's give them a hand. The new car department, right at about, uh, right at 5,000 units this year in, the, in a, a turbulent time. Oh, by the way, let's give the new car department a hand. That's yeah. phenomenal. The service department has serviced over 140,000 ROs this year. Think that through, 140,000 repair orders have gone through our service departments, through our technicians, our advisors. Let's give them a hand. Yeah. Our car washes, I, I, the car washes has just been killing it. We've been doing a really good job with the car washes. Uh, our car wash, let's give them a car wash department a hand. That's a phenomenal job. And all of it has to be accounted for by the accounting department. <laughs> Goodness gracious, let's give them a hand. Nice job. And at the end of the day, these are the things that we're looking for. Now let's talk about what we're looking forward to. One of the things that uh, Marty has been on my ass about, he's been kicking my behind and saying, Carlos, we need to buy another building. For God's sakes, we need to buy another building. And so because of that, we're, uh, we're, we've just put in, a, put in a contract, say your prayers, on a, on a building that's uh, 68,000 square foot. It's off of 435 in Warnell. We're gonna be moving our accounting department into that location. There's other things that we're gonna be doing with that building as we go forward, God willing. So that's a piece of the puzzle. Uh, BGI uh, in, at, uh, is needing to expand their service department. So we're looking for, and I think Robert's on top of this one. He's on top of both of them actually. Uh, he's, uh, we're working through making sure that we have a, another body shop that's being built for Crash Champions. We're gonna move them off the property and put them in a different location. Uh, the Kia location, we're wanting to build a building on the back side of Kia on the north side so it looks as similar to the current service department. In addition to that, we uh, just uh, bought a building in Topeka so that we can expand our parts department. When I met Kendall, where's Kendall? When I met Kendall, I said, Kendall, your parts department's not big enough. Yeah, let's give him a hand. Thank you. Uh, I said, Kendall, the parts department's not big enough. Kevin Berry, which happens to be in Hawaii right now. I tell you, Kevin Berry is in Hawaii right now. Anyway, Harry says, uh, Kendall, he's right. We're going to have to build another building. And sure enough, right now, we started with about $1.3 million in inventory in that location. We now have right at about $2.2 million, $2.1 in change, uh, which is a phenomenal growth. We're moving the parts, the service department and uh, the cleanup department and moving it into that building also. So we're working through that process. In addition to that, we have some other projects that are too, too massive to uh, talk about over a period of, this period of time. My point is, so what does it look like over the next 10 years? That's the thing that I, if I were in your shoes, I'd be asking that question. And the, the answer is, well, uh, we want to go after $2 billion. That's the objective. How does that look like for all concerned? And we're going to be moving some people around to help us with that. Uh, Marty's uh, going to be taking on a different role that he's currently taken than he's had. Or, or the, uh, all the stores that, uh, and helping that process along the way. Mike Rauscher is going to be working through that conversation also and, and making sure that he is helping that uh, conversation grow. So I, I feel like over the next 10 years, we have some really fantastic things to look at and what that, why, the, why we're doing what we're doing. And, and so why do we want to do this? You know, I really am the, the knucklehead that thinks that I, I can change the world. 
through the hands of many and, and through the hands of a few and to, to touch the hearts of many. And, and I got to tell you, I really believe that. I believe that since I came into this company, I believe this today, and I'll believe this over the next 10 years because I really do believe that if all, we all go after a specific area, this is what's gonna make a big difference. So we started off with the goal setting. If you watch what, where the videos are, one of the things that we've been talking about with the video is making sure that we talk about specifically, what are your goals that you're going after? So what are you paying attention to? So my word this year is vision. What is your vision to make sure that you take all these people through whatever the problems are that we're gonna be all facing? And if you have good vision, good direction, I think we all win. So how are we gonna do that? This next week, the man team are gonna be uh, uh, taking right at about 220 people through uh, goal setting. And the goal setting basically is for family, it's for spiritual, uh, health, it's for finances, and also for business. Make sure we work through that conversation so we can learn how you as an individual, I know for a fact that I don't do this myself. You do it through all of the efforts that you pay attention to. Why do we do this? Because we want to create a community within a community that affects the people that we are able to affect. That's the vision that we have for this company. That's the vision that we're working after. Uh, and the following week after that, we're all Anderson that's coming in. We're bringing in about 140 people. Is that right, Elizabeth? About 140 people through through that. And it's not the managers that we normally have. It's just the, the next leaders down that we're trying to bring into that conversation. TJ Foster, for goodness sakes, is going to that. Can you believe that? Holy jeez. Now, that, now that's a change. TJ, I know you hear me. You're out there. I know you're, you're out there somewhere. Um, yeah, but the yeah. intent is how do we create more leaders within the company because leadership starts within you you're at any at any table that you're at right now you're a leader you're a leader of your family you're a leader of you you're a leader of what you currently have how good are you doing do you have the integrity do you have the attitude do you have the process law that we're kind of paying attention to are you understanding what your core values are if not use ours because they're pretty good ones and at the end of the conversation i think we can change the world and the world, how we do it, is one person at a time, one life at a time, one goal at a time. So my vision for us to be able to work through this is to make sure that every one of you are involved with the vision that we're headed forward to. I really believe that that's gonna be a big issue that we can work with. So with that said, let's talk about Christmas. You know, I believe, you know, um, Christmas to me is such a great time. Elizabeth asked me a question. She says, why do you do the Christmas party? And I said, let me ask you a question. Why do you think we do it? And she says, well, we do it because you believe in, in hope and we sell hope at Cable Dimer. We, You believe in faith, that's exactly right. And you believe that you can change the world with all these people, that's exactly right. And what's really fun about that conversation is that I really do believe that all of us together can accomplish some phenomenal things if we're all going toward one specific goal together. I believe that, that Jesus Christ is our, our savior. I believe that he's gonna uh, continue to, to lead us. And I believe that all of us together can accomplish some phenomenal things if we do it correctly and we do it through him. Somebody asked me the other day, they said, well, in fact, it was tonight. They said, uh, goodness gracious, look at all the things you've accomplished. And I told them, it's not me, it's him. Because I'm a high school educated kid that had a strong C minus, that everybody told me that I wasn't gonna amount to anything. And I gotta tell you, I sort of believed it until I hooked up with that guy. And I'm just hanging on to his belt because he's going to take us places. At the end of the day, I love you. God bless you. Let's have a good evening tonight.